this is the Salty Day sweater I had been working on by Veronica Lindbergh. And look how beautiful this is. This is just the back yoke, but yeah, it's already so pretty. And this is super fast to knit up as well. I just finished the front and the back yoke. And I've joined for the armpit area for the Salty Day sweater. And this is what it looks like right now. I'm working on chart B right now. And I just wanted to try it on just to make sure everything fits and looks okay. So far, it fits. It was really easy to put on actually. So yeah, I think everything looks good so far. What is this? This is worrying me. Yeah, it's like the same on the other side. Maybe once I attach the sleeve, it won't be so obvious. I think I joined it properly. I mean, I hope. I hope I joined it properly. I, I mean, does this not look a little weird? Did I do it wrong? Hmm. Did I not pick up my stitches properly? But I was very careful though when I picked it up. <sighs> it's making me a little nervous. Okay, I think I need to check how the pattern looks on Ravelry and decide whether or not I need to restart or just keep going. But this is where I'm at so far. We'll see. A tiny update on the Salty Day sweater. I just finished chart C, so I believe this is chart A, this is chart B, and this is chart C. Chart A and B went very smoothly. I actually did this section when I was traveling in Philippines, Hong Kong, and Japan, and I had no issues at all. And this part I did before my trip. But this section right here, I did just today after my trip and I was just sitting on the couch doing, you know, nothing like watching TV and knitting and guess what? I decided to screw up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but basically the top of the diamond and the bottom of the diamond are not aligned in the same column. It, they're supposed to be matching. So if you look up here, this is correct. Everything is in the same column from top to bottom. So this is correct. I basically didn't read one of the notes on uh, chart C and I think I missed one of the stitches and therefore the bottom half of the diamond is completely shifted uh, this way and that's why it looks slanted instead of how it should look up here which is so freaking annoying but it's okay. These things happen. I'm just glad I found out early on and not too late because imagine I had already finished the sweater and then I noticed this, that would drive me nuts. But I think we're still in a place where I can frog it and redo it. So yeah, I guess that's just what I'm gonna have to do.
All right, a little bit of an update. I've been working on the collar for about two hours or one hour. I don't know. Picking up stitches always take me so long. I don't know why. But there's one thing that's really bothering me right now. And it is, you see how this knit stitch really beautifully connects? I like that. And then I decided to pick up a stitch right in this knit. And that is really bothering me. It looks like there's a branch off, which I really don't like. I like how it looks here. And on top of that, I'm starting to worry that my collar's too tight. I know in her picture, her collar looks loose, but I feel like my garment has been knitting pretty tight. So I actually might size up my needles by 0.5 and also um, pick up a l like six more stitches. And I'm, I'm just so worried that it won't go through my head. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and frog this. I just finished this sleeve on my right side and I'm working on my left sleeve. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a kid's sweater but I have confidence that this will block out because I am using Superwash uh, Merino and I know Superwash Merino does block out a little bit and it does stretch a little bit just from experience so I have faith that this will fit eventually after I block it. But I was getting a little bit nervous with the arms especially, like look at the sleeve. This is so short. I mean, I want it to block out at least an inch, at least two inches. I did consider blocking it first, like just one sleeve to see how it goes. Because if it doesn't block out, then I can always extend the length on the other sleeve, but we'll see. I think once I block it, it'll be a lot better, but right now, I do feel a little bit silly wearing this. But this is what it looks like so far. It's uh. Friday, February 16th, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I will finish it today. The collar looks really nice though. I really like the collar. I also upsized the needles for the armband, like I guess arm cuff, because I was worried that it'd be too tight. So instead of using a three millimeter, I did use a four millimeter, and I do think it feels a lot better. I tend to like when my cuffs are less tight. I like when there's more room and I can kind of put my sleeves over my hand. So we'll see how this goes. I only have like this chart C and the ribbing to do, which will probably take me a couple hours. And then yeah, I will block this and we will find out if this sweater fits me in two days or one day, depending how long this takes to block. Wilfred, I just closed the door. Every time I close the door, he opens it. No closed doors in the house! Okay, I just finished this and it looks super duper short. It looks too small. Look at the arms. It, this is not even bracelet like. But yeah, this looks really small, like it's meant for a kid. But I'm really hoping it'll block out since this is super wash merino, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna try to stretch this so it's not so short. Especially the sleeves. The sleeves are way too short, if you can see. But hopefully blocking it will give it more of a relaxed look. And relax the stitches a little bit so that it could be a little bit looser fitting. But yeah, right now it's really, really tight. If I wear it like this, it looks okay, like a cropped shirt. But still, the sleeves are way too tight if you look over here. Yeah, the body definitely needs to relax too, but mainly, mainly the sleeves. This sleeves look so short. <laughs> oh my god, okay, and here's the back. This is what the back looks like. 
Oh, and here's the ribbing. I'm gonna block it tonight and we will find out in... This usually takes about two days to dry in my house. So yeah, we'll find out on Sunday if this ends up fitting. All right, let's go block this. finish this and it's done blocking and it's the perfect size the sleeves are definitely longer now so with all the cabling it definitely stretched out and everything looks so much better I did this in a size small but I blocked it to a size extra small dimensions which is exactly what I want it to look like this is how I would typically like to wear my sweaters if it's not oversized like this would be like a fitted sweater kind of look for me it is very breezy because of all the holes in here and like all the <laughs> holes in here so if i wore it out now i think i might need a undershirt but if i wear it out in the springtime it actually might be perfect because it's so airy and i don't think i'll be sweating in this even up to like 20 degree weather the best thing about this design is that it's not only good for going out normally, but it's also really great for work. Like I can definitely wear this to the office with dress pants and it would be completely appropriate, which I really, really like. This will be the end of the video. I hope you guys like these types of videos because I'll be doing more for each of my projects where I bring you from winding up the ball of yarn to actually wearing it at the end. So if you like these type of videos, definitely look out for my coming ones. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!